Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again, General Technology Knowledge. Today I would like to show and share about how to open, learn from the SIM demo of G SCADA software, Prophecy HMI Simplicity Bank. Okay. So what is the SIM demo? SimDemo is the project that created from the uh, GE SCADA developer that uh, it automatically uh, created after we uh, installation the software Prophecy HMI SCADA Simplicity okay. and he is just example two screens that I took from the project of SimDemo yes and we can learn from SimDemo such as we can uh, create the points create the animation or create the alarm of a process that we want or create the train view yes or alarm block alarm viewer or uh, data log yes so many many functions that we can uh, learn from uh, simdemo and about this screen is the turbine generator that we uh, can uh, view the speed the vibration the uh, percentage of uh, fuel yes the pressure yes and many many uh, animation in this screen let me show uh, after I uh, explain about this so uh, to open the sim demo let's go to our software Prophecy HMI Simplicity yes so let's go together okay so uh, I already uh, installed this software on uh, my computer yes so to open the sim demo we can uh, go to the C yeah try C program H 86 for uh, window uh, 64 bit but for uh, window uh, 32 bits we can go to a program file okay for me I use a uh, computer uh, 64 bits operation so uh, I can go to open by go to this folder program 8 86 and then go to folder uh, prophecy go to uh, prophecy simplicity yes and then go to uh, projects and uh, we will see the sim demo here on the default folder yes so uh, to open the sim demo let go to uh, this folder and then uh, double click here sim demo is the workbench project yeah so we can uh, double click on that uh, file so we will found the screen we will found points alarms or many many function here example uh, script also uh, include here also yes yes okay. let's see script yeah here many many script here yes so we can learn a uh, step by step from here okay and another ways we can uh, open from here by open uh, go to our program and then go to uh, Prophecy HMI SCADA, yes, and then go to the workbench, yes, 
and then we uh, can open yeah click open and then uh, go to C program eight, uh, 86 go to prophecy prophecy simplicity and then go to project and then uh, open the folder sim demo and then double click or click and then open the sim demo of uh, workbench project so we have uh, two ways to open the sim demo projects yeah so uh, to use or uh, learn from this project we need to start the project yes so uh, to start the project let's click this button play yes click here and then click ok yes so uh, the project will automatically start until uh, uh, it finishes. So uh, wait a moment for this uh, project finish, and then we can use uh, the screen, such as uh, simulation, open screen, overlay screen, or uh, see some uh, animation that uh, has here. Okay. So here is many many function yes that we can learn. I feel so after this uh, project start finish yes. Example let's see here is the train. Train view for uh, temperature or from uh, some point that we uh, control. Example the air how uh, monitoring or generators turbine yes or some function here yes so uh, wait a moment for starting the project yes actually we can uh, learn this function for me I uh, learn from uh, this in the first time when I start uh, learn about uh, GE software, yes, about Scala, I learn from uh, SimDemo also. So today I will show how to uh, learn step by step, yes, from uh, this project. Okay, so uh, right now the project is already started, yes. So uh, we can open the screen, yeah. Example, open here, yeah. And let's see, yes. We can uh, go to another screen, example, a power generator, yes. So here we can uh, start and stop yeah the turbine example is like to remote and then we can start with uh, confirm yes let uh, start it yes right now it uh, start yes here let's see uh, many many animation example uh, the pressure or the alarm yes So right now it's running. So, uh, so uh, let's see how to config this button or uh, this uh, pressure control. Yes. So we can uh, go to uh, check on the screen configuration. Example here is the screen of turbine. So we can uh, edit and then see how to edit. Yes, I will zoom a little bit. Yes, so uh, last time this uh, button has uh, confirmed, right? So let's go to see the event. Yes, event uh, turn off the motor, right? With the confirm, and then we can go to see the edit procedure. Yeah, let's see here is the point. Yes point ID so we can uh, copy this point to search on the points yes here 
yeah and how to see this point yeah let's see the bug click to see the point it is the resource ID and it is the visual point yes because we are uh, not connect to the PLC so we use the visual point yes initial value 0 yes so uh, it is the boolean and then we uh, here absolute set point yes it is the event and action to uh, start and then here uh, let's see it is uh, confirm also yes it did procedure yes like this confirm confirm to start the turbine yes so we can copy this point and then go to here and then search yeah let's see it is the boolean also and it is the visual point yes so many many function here we can learn from uh, this project yeah example uh, config the animation of color green and red yes let's see here we already uh, started the turbine yeah and also we can stop stop also confirm yes stop the turbine yes and we can go back to the uh, brewery yes like this okay let's see here it's many many animation yes example auto yes let's see how to config this uh, animation we can uh, open this screen to see also yes it is the motor yes it is the auto yeah example like this so uh, it is very important that we can learn from uh, sim demo yeah that uh, I already uh, so yeah automate you yeah like this so we can uh, auto mode yes and then we can start and it will work for animation so uh, we can learn from here also so uh, thank you very much for watching my video and if everyone have any uh, question please drop comment under my video I will reply soon and uh, for this video I just uh, would like to show how to learn from this uh, project for uh, basically only okay if we know about the basic we can uh, create the project by uh, ourselves yeah and then we can uh, copy a little bit from here or we can uh, learn from here to apply to uh, our project okay so thank you very much again and don't uh, forget like share and subscribe my video also to get more notification and more new videos that i will uh, create step by step so in this time i would like to say thank you very much again and see you next videos. Bye-bye.